what does what does your group do? Yeah, the efficient group. Well, the efficient group uh, was started by myself and our uh, managing director about twelve years or so ago. We listed the company about six years mm-hmm. ago, so it's a listed financial services company. So we do everything to do with money. So we, if you need any advice about investments, about insurance, about even about your will, we do everything that's got a rand sign or even a dollar sign in front of it, except taking deposits. So we're not a bank, but okay. apart from being a bank. Anything to do in a financial services industry, that's what we are, we are involved in. In a way, I'm going to sideline Victor here now. You can stand on the touchline there for a minute. It's necessary within the agricultural sector for finance. Now, here's one I'm going to throw at you, which is a deep-rooted problem that exists in the agricultural sector. There are black aspirant farmers. Because they don't own the land, they can't get finance and they can't compete with white farming community white farming community farms are getting bigger they have to all over the world nothing wrong with that but we need to bring into the market but the banks and financial institutions are extremely reluctant to enter the market yet here you are today i think there are two issues to that question Uh, the first one is that what is happening to agriculture not only in south africa but globally and agriculture traditionally has been categorized as a so-called primary industry agriculture and mining that is really quite artificial and that's not really applicable anymore because you can't be, there's no space for a farmer anywhere in the world anymore. Mm-hmm. You must be an entrepreneur and that means you have to have a grip on things like IT and genetics and this is a highly sophisticated business mm-hmm. to being in the farming industry. So the, the, the guys that are left today in the agricultural industry in South Africa are really, really good, let's call them farmers, but they're excellent businessmen. There are a number of important aspects Mm. to running a good economy. Now, I'm the economist and I look at these and I, I, and I compare countries, different countries to each other. Mm. And as far as I'm concerned, there's one single value that is of, the, the, is of critical importance and that is private property rights. And with private property rights, I've, I really mean the very broad definition thereof. That means that I've got the right over a property, material or immaterial, but I also have the right over my own rights like my right to move around my right to sell my my labor at whatever price i want to sell it and that's where we have a major issue in south africa was the politicians reckon that you can get somebody to build a property or build a farm or build a business on a property that doesn't belong to you that's not going to happen nobody's going to disagree with you on that issue but the issue is i don't see the financial institutions putting pressure on government saying come on let this land go it's not only the financial government owns a lot of land business in south africa is reluctant to 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 put uh, pressure on government because they're quite often dependent on government business ah. and that's an issue in South Africa especially the big business in South Africa so hypocrisy reigns certainly that's the way it, so what I am is certainly in favor of is a free market system mm-hmm. but quite often it doesn't work because the politicians and the, I like to call it the kleptocracy quite often mm-hmm. undermines the system mm-hmm. but quite often our big business contribute to this well undermining of the working of the free market system but your company particularly, are you, obviously I can see you're very aware of this situation. Are you looking at ways of entering into that black aspirant marketplace? Well, without a doubt. We are financial advisors amongst others. We're trying to get black financial advisors mm. to join our company. We can't get them. There are so few black ad- financial advisors, and the reason, and this goes down to, to the, this is actually the root of many problems in South Africa. We do not have the skills, and we do not have mm. the skills because the education system in South Africa is inferior. And the in, education system in South Africa is not inferior because of a lack of money; mm. it's inferior because of bad management. South Africa's education system compares terribly with many other countries in the world, and it's not because of a lack of money. It goes back to political leadership. Is this where Victor Macville's going? Yeah, I don't know exactly where I'm going, but um, <laughs> I think what's important for me was I was in rugby for 10 to 15 years and to see how players almost mismanage their money. And I think uh, when Darby and Efficient came to me to be brand ambassador for the company, it was a no-brainer for me. And I said the most important thing for me is I want to learn your business as well. Of course, I think there's such a big gap if you talked about black uh, farmers, we've talked about black players, even players that don't have parents that can really 
put them in a direction direction what to do with their money because they're earning at 21 years old 22 years old they're earning money that guys that normally when they're 40 earn that type of money what do you do with your money where do you place it how do you plan for one day when you want to retire and i think uh, when they asked me it was uh, no brainer to come and join them and learn their business as well and hopefully i can help the players that's around to really have an input into what they do with their money there's a few guys in rugby that really earn good money and most of them they are right and they after rugby they stay a victor matfield or a john smith or but there's a lot of players that earn just like a million a year they just make a living and the day they stop they they don't have any experience in anything so then they drop to about two hundred thousand a year maybe and their family are used to a certain way of living and then they struggle so it's very hard i think luckily uh, done a few things right but i also lost a lot of money while playing i've lost a huge amount of money how with with investing in bad investments bad investments people coming to you let's start this business or you know what the guy's doing well for yourself and then they start doing their own property developments and you're part of that and you lose money and i think when you get to a group like efficient that's regulated that knows what they're doing that's got all the ex experience all the expertise I think that's where you should be. And that's what my, if I talk to young players, I'll say that's what you, you know what, put your money with, save, you get your 10 to 15 or 20% return on investment a year. That's where you should put your money. What's the dressing room talk when you're there about finances? Do you hear dressing room? Yeah, I Garble? think it's scary sometimes. I think it's just, it? yeah, it's ignorance. It's, they don't know what they're talking about. Mm. All of them, and I was there. You want to get involved in a business that's going to double your money within two years mm. and that doesn't happen that's it just mm. doesn't happen so rather go somewhere mm. where you're not involved you can't be involved mm. because you're too busy with rugby and make sure you get people that know what they're doing to invest your money as a sportsman wouldn't you say that playing rugby without training is like having money without knowing what to do with it i think it's very much the same you need expertise you need um, guys yeah. that's been in that position They've, that's been there before yeah. that made mistakes yeah. but no i can't do that again and uh, yeah that's why you need people that's got the expertise how did you really find each other who went to who first well, I, I approached Victor because yeah. uh, for obvious reasons. I mean, he's a and what a better you can't think of a better brand ambassador to have Victor Matchfield to be on your team. But there are synergies that quite often people would say, you know, rugby playing a financial services company yeah, doesn't make I, sense. It's spinning in my mind. I'm still trying. But to you know, first of all, yeah. I, I uh, Victor is going through mm. his. We've got a program for yeah. Victor, and now he's and he's a very very sharp guy. Let me tell you this. This morning we spoke about the yield curve, for instance, and I and I explained to him the working yeah. of the yield curve. But we're really attracted me about Victor is that he's a leader of a team. Mm. He's got a game plan. He's got certain players in his team that, and they are they're responsible for certain things in mm. his team. And that's what you do at the efficient group as well. And I was actually amazed to see that a company like a financial services company like what we have mm. and the Blue Bulls team or the Springbok, uh, Springbok rugby team for instance, in a way it's the same thing. You manage it in the same way. You put the right players at the right uh, at the right positions, and you have a, a business plan, and you have to have a leader that can take the decisions at the right moment, and to and to, to put the right person in the right space. So managing a rugby team, or play, managing a game, or having a financial services company, or a farm for that matter, they all pretty much the same thing. Have you ever thought of having a farm? Because I, I most Afrikaans guys I know dream of the farm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm more of a city boy, so no, I, no. I don't think I'll be farming anytime soon. I'll be more, uh, this is more my type of thing. Mm. But again, I think being successful takes the same step. If it's a business, a farm, mm. a rugby team, you need to have a vision, you need to have a strategy, you need to go through mm. certain steps to achieve that. And I think that's yeah. what's nice with us. And we're doing a nice mm. presentation now out in one of the halls is just go through that. How did it work in rugby? How did we become mm. successful and efficiency got exactly the same?